Merge will contain a renumbering tool that can uh, move an application from one object range to another one. For this one, I'm going to use uh, the performance tool. And what I'm going to do is look at uh, the renumbering object down here. And the first thing to do is to copy um, the existing objects in here. And it now copy all the existing object numbers being used uh, in here. And I can then go in and say, okay, for all these ones, I want to um, set a new object number. And I can go in and uh, put in, like, I want this one to be in uh, 7001, should be the first object number. And it now put in a new object number, and it made it also uh, set for actually renumbering the object value. These numbers can, of course, also be typed manually, but in this way, it's to just start uh, from beginning again and renumber all of them uh, every time again. So uh, I now set up the renumbering. If I go into um, use that one, it's only going to apply during an export. So I would go in and say, um, I want this one, and this one is a renumber. And I need to check the option here at the export uh, to renumber the objects. And I have some uh, other object types in here, so I'm going to actually only export anything that is less than a text file in here. And again, I have the renumber checked. And now uh, renumber that one. I would need a new database uh, to put this one in. So let's just uh, extract the database here. Let's just uh, rename it first here. Go open up that database. So the new text file I created. The renumber. As I look at these objects now that are uncompiled, I'll see they all have the view object range, and as I compile these ones, uh, everything works. Uh, so I now move the application uh, to a new range. If I was going to change the version of this or, or the name of the object in here, I could actually have the old and the new version in here. So if I was also going to move the data, the merge tool also contain a um, conversion code tool as part of it. So if I go in uh, back into the merge tool here, I look under my uh, renumbering objects, and I can say that I want to include this one also in a conversion tool in here. So all these tables, I can now go and uh, export a renumber conversion object. And it will be uh, object number uh, 70,099. And then uh, I can go in here also select a um, file name. We now created this one, and I'm not going to import it in here, but I'll just take a look at this conversion code unit. Basically, has the progress bar. Uh, it will have um, from table uh, to table, and it will just keep on going 
uh, through this one. And it will actually commit at certain intervals to be able to uh, run this one without the database almost getting twice the size. Uh, so it commits uh, by a table or by each 10,000 records by default. But this one basically is a renumbering function inside the merge tool. It gets very easy to move it to another one. If you want to move fields around, there's other tricks to do it. Uh, the trick is really to leave all the objects uncompiled and have no data. Then you can just renumber the fields uh, as much as you want. 